Hi and welcome back to Warframe. So there's a new tactical alert. This is kind of a, a, celeb a celebration alert. A cele ah, you, you just know what word I'm looking for here, but my brain is busy with something else right now. And what this is, is because the devs are currently having their 50th dev stream. Actually, it's still on. I'm watching it on the TV right now. <laughs> it, I've had to mute it so I could actually record, but it's I'm watching it at the minute. It's still actually going. It will be finished by the time this goes live, though. And they did say at the beginning this was going to pop up. Uh, update 16.3.1 said this was going to pop up at 3.30. It actually popped up more like 3.33. And it's going to be on Mars. And basically the reward is a Catalyst Blueprint. And then another one after two points. Or the second time you do it will be a Reactor. And it, even though it doesn't say it there. The third time will be for the Stratos Emblem. Whether that's actually going to be there or not, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. So, let's just go in and see what... No, sorry. There it is. Is it going to have... I'm just quickly want to see. I don't see any um, limitations to it. It just says it's a deception mission. So, let's jump in and see what happens. This is what you will get when you log in. It's basically a message from Darvo. Uh, seems like there's such a waste to leave product floating. Oh. So basically, he wants help to steal a bunch of um, cargo ships by the look of it. It does seem to be just kind of a standard um, deception mission from. Oh, crap. I instantly regret formering these pistols. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a pain. Of course it helps if there's actually any enemies anyway. This ship seems inactive. Because all the lights and everything are off as if it's going to be infected. But I haven't seen an enemy yet. Don't know what that means though. This is a long elevator. Jeez. I miss the fact that they sped these up so they basically moved really, really quickly now. It just moves really, really slowly. Can I have an enemy? Any enemy. Any kind of enemy at all. Otherwise, these missions are going to be boring as hell. I'm assuming there's going to be something behind this. Wow, really? No enemies at all. I've heard of um, easy missions, but come on, what the hell? Hello? Anybody? Anybody? Oh. Oh, okay. That's more like it. Holy crap. Um, if Just in case you can't count, that's three. And the, he's pinned us in slow motion, so now I've got to go through this in slow mo. <laughs> uh, I don't like the fact you can do nothing while that's happening, and because there is three of them. Hello, thank you. Can see it, but they're not taking any damage. So this could actually be really easy to just kind of speed run. But hopefully this will increase the chance of actually getting your hands on uh, four riders. Berserker. Of course I, I am doing this after the uh, patch for it, not beforehand. Beforehand it would have been a lot easier to do because apparently there wasn't as many of these things around. Na -na 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 -na. Okay, that went through the stairs. Haha, <laughs> I cheat. I have no power either. I'm not just going to run all the way to the end. I want to kill a few of them at least. Come on, give me four riders. Drop four riders. Ah, <laughs> damn it. Pinders again. Give me four riders. 
Or how about I just one of you drop any mod? I'll take any mod whatsoever. I have not seen any of these guys drop a single mod ever. Nice try. God damn it, really? And I'm dead. And when that happens, there's only one thing to do. Do, do, do. Go invisible all you want. I see you, because you glow green. <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of here. Just because I want to make sure this actually gives us one for completing this. Do, do, do. Uh, you. Huh. And how exactly am I supposed to go through this door? Okay, you've got to kill a certain number of them before the door will actually open, but the door is now open. My problem is I kind of ran back a room and smashed the glass, trying to set the alarm off. That worked. So they've actually stopped you from being able to just speed run this. You have to stop and kill them, and I ran out of ammo. I was actually... I don't want to see a dick move, that was actually quite clever. The red doors, they do annoy me, but seeing the fact it was done on purpose made it a lot better. You've actually got to take out a certain number of them. So there'll be a certain number that spawn, and you've got to take them all out. As you can see, I'm basically standing here and none of them are coming after me. So, killed everything. Let's get the hell out of here. And after the first one, lovely jubbly, uh, Catalyst. And actually says one, so I'll be going back in. Try and do a second one. Hopefully I can actually get a team this time, because last time it just gave us none. And we'll see what we get after this. This one is actually a little bit harder. And see, there's the first one, there's the second one. Ah, no. <laughs> Much, much better when you're actually in a team because you can actually kind of gang up on them and take them out. There's the reactor blueprint, and that was 52 manix, I may add, and not one mod. Thanks to the eight or nine teams who have basically died and bailed on me, I will add in here that the enemies are level 60 to 80. Corrosive projection would work really well for this. So the most you can have is 50 power. It is regenerating. We have gone for a kind of a Vauban cock-up type of situation. I don't know what the hell keeps happening because I keep teleporting across the map. Like I ended up in a corner there. I'm not really sure what happened there. And I'm just, I'm not going to swap, stop swinging. Loki is here to revive, because he's invisible. Uh, Vauban is basically, you want a full-blown... Come on, there it is. Um, energy efficiency build. That worked pretty well. The energy does regenerate up to 50. And I just heard that vibrate through my headset. So something tells me my microphone may have just farted. One enemy left. Oh, we got this. Oh my god, this is this is attempt number 10. I won't lie, this has actually been rather frustrating as hell. But number 75 has not spawned in. Bloop. Yay, it's dead. Let's, let's get out of here. There it is, the last one, last part of the Stratus emblem. We'll have a look what it is, but we're actually going to go back in real quick. So this is weird. Keep throwing this thing down, but I keep teleporting across the room. And I think I figured out what it is. Uh, you've got like five seconds to get me back up before all hell breaks loose. Health. Power. I think everybody's dead though. <laughs> Um, I think it's when trying to melee the enemies, the teleport. Well, if I'm trying to attack them when they teleport, I think what's happening is I'm basically teleporting with them while, produ while doing the finishing move. Because I've come across it a few times where I'm basically punching the ground and all of a sudden I'm at the other side of the room. But this works... See? Like that! And of course, because I'm all the way back here, I'm getting owned like that. This is Stratos Emblem and number 12. And I kind of like that one. That actually looks pretty cool. 
obviously each stratos emblem changes as it goes up it's not the same one every time it's a it's an emblem that will progress the more you get and this will be number 12 and i like that one actually it's, it's changed quite a bit since the very first one where i think especially with it being empty because if it's the first one you've got it's actually empty on the inside it's what's inside of it that will actually change but anyway we'll leave this off here for now mainly because my fingers are killing me right now <laughs> thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time